let's start with the significance of meiosis now okay first significance of meiosis is meiosis ensures the maintenance of specific chromosomal number of a species for several generations so meiosis ensures ensures the maintenance ensures the maintenance of specific chromosomal number of a species specific chromosomal number of a species specific or we can say same chromosomal number same chromosomal number of a species for several generations i'll explain this by taking an example for several generations okay right so in case of human species what is the chromosomal number 46 in human species diploid chromosomal number is 46 okay that means and this 46 chromosomal number diploid chromosomal number is maintained same for several generations that means in my mother also 46 chromosomes are present in diploid condition in my body cells also 46 chromosomes are present in my daughter's body cells also 46 chromosomes will be present that is ensuring the maintenance of same or specific chromosomal number of a species for several generations let's see how this meiosis ensures the maintenance of specific chromosomal number of a species for several generations okay so let's say this is human male so male parent in female parent also 46 chromosomes are there in oocyte so this is spermatocyte this is the chromosomal number of spermatocytes present in male parent now this is the chromosomal number of oocytes present in female parent so what happens spermatocytes undergo meiosis after undergoing meiosis what will be formed sperms or male gametes so male gametes will be haploid and the chromosomal number is 23 23 haploid reduced to half meiosis is nothing but reduction division where the number of chromosomes are reduced to half and ploid is also reduced to half so next coming to oocytes oocytes also undergo meiosis after undergoing meiosis forms what egg eggs or female gametes here sperm which is nothing but male gamete so here this is also haploid and the chromosomal number is 23 so what happens when the sperm and egg fuse together that means fertilization occurs what happens zygote will be formed the zygote the zygote is again now diploid because two haploid cells are fusing together or fertilizing together which results in the formation of diploid zygote and the chromosomal number 23 plus 23 46 the zygote undergoes mitotic division and develops into embryo this embryo develops into what new individual new individual or adult adult human adult so all the cells of human adult consists of 46 chromosomes each and every cell consists of 46 chromosomes so in his or her parents also 46 chromosomes are there in this uh, offspring also 46 chromosomes will be there in the next generation also number of chromosomes will be 46 so meiosis ensures the maintenance of specific chromosomal number or same chromosomal number of a species 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 for several generations so this is one significance next significance is meiosis helps in production of variations among the offspring actually the offspring which are formed by asexual reproduction are exactly similar to their parents and there will be no variations there will be no differences among the offspring and in between the offspring and parent which are which is formed through asexual reproduction but in case of sexual reproduction what happens there is offspring which are formed from the parents are not exactly different are exactly similar to their parents and exactly similar among themselves that means they are showing some variations this variations occurs because of crossing over which occurs during meiosis so meiosis ensures the formation of variations 
meiosis ensures the formation of variations among offsprings and in between offsprings and what is these what are these variations genetic variations variations among offsprings among offsprings and in between offsprings and parents and in between and between offspring and even parents also parents also variations are there what for these variations are required variations are important for evolution that is formation of one species from another species so this is about significance of meiosis hope you understood these two uh, significances of meiosis and in the next video i'll be giving some questions and some tricks to solve those questions tricky questions some specific tricky type of questions